Okay, we're back to 203. We seem to be running. Uh, we're back at seven pounds. Air more. I've cut the air back a lot. And as you can see, the uh, you can see there is some light smoke coming through there. Very light indeed, but some nonetheless. Uh, you look at the oil, uh, nice and clear and clean. Um, it seems to be better now that I've cut the air back. Uh, it's played a little bit longer. You'll notice it's still playing. Let's see if I can get a look in the uh, hole. Open it real slow so it doesn't change the air pressure. So forth. Can't see much in there, but I'm going to bring that back up slowly. There certainly is very finicky about uh, keeping the uh, very little air going to this thing. It seems to want to blow itself out. Uh, but so far it's playing, and uh, I'll fill you in more here shortly. This is a nozzle after 24 hours of running. And we'll take that retention head off. Uh, everything down here. Here's the uh, back side. It's a little dirty. Front side. Pretty dirty. And. But. The igniters. Now there's some oil dripping off of it. And. I have a lot of oil. In the burner. But I believe that's because my uh, pump hasn't been shutting off uh, when the burner shuts off. And uh, here's the uh, the hookup for the 55 millimeter, 50 millimeter unit. I've got a foot valve right there. Here's the return valve. So when I pump in the bottom and pick up over here. When it reaches that level, it flows back to the tank. So it just keeps circulating through with no uh, basic valves or anything. Okay, just hooked up a relay right there so that the, uh, the pump that pumps my oil into the foot valve up into the, uh, the tank here up to that line and then lets it run back and then I pick up my feed here to go into the burner uh, kicks off when the burner kicks off I don't know if we can see in here but, but uh, everything's been cleaned out I had a lot of oil in the bottom and I believe it's when it would shut off the pump would keep going and uh, that would keep uh, pumping into the uh, into the uh, combustion chamber so I think I've got that squared away we're running a little over seven seven and a half up to eight and seems to be a good hot flame I get almost no smoke in the uh, let's see if I can get over there I don't know if you can see in there but there is just a, a hint of smoke going up. Uh, because this is such a big unit, uh, all of the pipes give me uh, give me some pretty good uh, heat readings. You get the but but they're all in the uh, this is where the cold air returns, hot air out of that side. But my uh, my stack temperature is probably somewhere around 150 uh, and I know that's cool for what people are telling me but I can't seem to get any more out of this if I crank this up to uh, 9 or 10 it ends up uh, I mean, this thing sounds like it's roaring and we'll crank it up a little more but it kicks out we go up to about nine and a half to 10 it gives me a what seems to be a much hotter flame 
but in a minute or two it seems to blow itself out. Anyway, film at 11. Uh, let me know what you think. We're going to go on the other side now and look at the supply tank. Here's my oil supply. Uh, here's the backup tank. I fill into here. Uh, from the backup tank, it comes out through the secondary containment, out that hose to a uh, diesel fuel pump, automotive fuel pump, 12 volt, through the filter and out to the uh, 50 millimeter or uh, yeah, 50 caliber ammo box. And then the return line comes back and that comes back to here. And as you can see, it pumps back into the tank. And this is an inch lower than the return off the uh, ammo box. And then just a quick look at, here's the rest of the, uh, the pumping system. Inverted buckets with, uh, with uh, five uh, micron and one micron filter bags. And uh, we pump from one to the other and can, uh, we have a settling tank, let it settle a, a week uh, and then we start pumping around the system.